Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about the standing exercises for the thoracic spine. Uh, this exercise can happen in the upright position. Some of you uh, are not able to do uh, the laying down position while you're at work, of course, or while you're on the computer, you feel stiff, you want to have some tips for the thoracic spine stretches and postural exercises for the thoracic spine while you're in the sitting or standing position. So first exercise, which is most important exercise, is the snow angel. So I'm going to go ahead and bring myself like this, put my hand in the side, tuck my chin, and we're going to go ahead and go all the way up and down on the wall. Make sure you do it very slow, okay? Snow angel. We did it on the foam roll in the laying down before. If you don't have access to foam roll or laying down position, that's for you. Okay? Very good. The next exercise is going to be the rhomboid stretch. We already talked about it. Hugging yourself really good. Stretching down. Holding it for 30 seconds. Bring it up. Or you can do it this way, stretching yourself forward, holding it, bring yourself up. Another stretch on the upper back is going to be the segmental stretch of the vertebral column. It may look like the uh, rhomboid one, but it's not like that. It's a little bit deeper and it's going to be a segmental rolling Stretches, fully rolling the vertebral column forward. Okay. That's a good stretch for the paraspinal muscles. Some people have it really tight back there. One-sided or two-sided, doesn't matter. The next stretch is for scoliosis. We're gonna do that side bend stretch. Again, we're stretching three muscles there. We're stretching paraspinals, latissimus dorsi, and even quadratus lumbaris down there. The other side, holding it for 30 seconds, based on which side we have limitation, we can focus more on that side. Rotatory part of scoliosis. Make sure your pelvis is straight and your isolating motion to the thoracic spine and upper back, holding it this way. Okay. Another one for the scoliosis we already talked about, sliding exercises. We're going to reverse the scoliosis curvature by doing that. Make sure you do it in the correct way. If your your hands really reaching too far to one side, it means that you don't need it on that side. If you have a restriction and your hand doesn't reach all the way far to one side, that's the side you need to do. Hold and relax. Next one's gonna be what we already talked about on the laying down. But some people with a lot of sensitivity on the upper spine, they might not be able to even lay down and do that. So what we're gonna do? We're going to put the ball between the shoulder blade and the thoracic spine in the muscular area, not on the bone. Based on where we have pain, we're going to put it on the wall, lean back to the wall, and go ahead and bring your feet forward, not to hurt your knee while doing this. Sometimes you can go all the way down to reach even the levator and some muscles of the neck. You can go side to side a little bit, as long as you don't go to the spine. You don't press to the spine, you can go a little side to side. Go up and down, get a nice deep massage on the upper back muscles. We also can cover something that we covered already in the shoulder. So which is gonna be the push-up plus. If you look at my shoulder blade, you will see a nice movement of the shoulder blade. Is not this. This is wrong, okay? This is a regular push-up. We don't want that. We want the 
push up only with the shoulder blade to mobilize that. Okay, the next one's gonna be our favorite chest stretch or pectoral stretch. That's for the shoulder also, but you can have it here too. In the upper back exercises, one leg in the front, one leg in the back, good posture, hold. You can go up and do this. You can change the angle based on which muscle needs it more and which part of the muscle needs it more. And you can of course do the uh, posture exercises which are in tucked by the neck, tucking the chin and retracting your shoulder blade, pushing your elbow to the wall, hold for five seconds, relax. Last one you can do is a latissimus stretch. Put your hand on the wall and give a nice good stretch on that. To stretch the upper back. As you see some of the neck and upper back exercises are overlapping each other. Uh, sorry for repeating myself sometimes, but I have to because uh, these are very important and especially neck, upper back, and shoulder area is very connected and we have a lot of overlapping for you not to forget the exercises sometimes I have to repeat it in different section uh, I hope you enjoyed and you could use the upper back exercises if you like my channel please subscribe that and make sure you can follow us and based on different body parts you can do your exercises but please make sure you consult your physical therapist or orthopedist or chiropractor before you performing all the exercises. Make sure you don't have any problem or contraindication or anything. And I'll be more than happy to have you as my follower and exercises uh, together. Okay, thank you so much and have a good day.